I have fluctuated my weight in between 120 and the highest I've been guys is 168 which is still ridiculous for me to believe but around this time last year I weighed 168 pounds all from we're gonna get into it we're gonna get into it I lost a lot to get inside this fight yeah I lost a lot to get inside this fight yeah all my brothers real they riding with me all my brothers real they dying with me hey friends it's Kamara Yvonne welcome to my YouTube channel today we're gonna be talking all about how I gained over 30 pounds naturally this video is for people who struggle to gain weight, if you have fast metabolism, if you want some curves, any of that, I am here to share with you guys some tips and tricks that have helped me to gain weight throughout the years. I started my weight gain journey when I was 15 years old, and I know for some people that might sound really young, but if you're somebody who struggles to gain weight or has a fast metabolism, you'll understand what I'm saying. Everybody else around me was gaining weight, you know, we're getting older, they're hitting puberty, they're getting bigger, and I'm staying the same. I always had a little bubble butt, so that was never an issue for me, but I was stuck in between 115 and 120 for the longest time ever. I was a size zero, I just looked like a stick, and no matter what I did or no matter what I ate, I couldn't gain any weight. So I did do a video a couple years ago on my channel where I talked about how I got from 120 to 135, but now I'm here to talk to you guys about how I have fluctuated my weight in between 120 and the highest I've been guys is 168 which is still ridiculous for me to believe but around this time last year I weighed 168 pounds all from we're gonna get into it we're gonna get into it all the products that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video will be listed in the description box under my Amazon affiliate link that's basically a link that will take you directly to Amazon but when you purchase from this link I will get a percentage of the Commission so it helps me out it helps me to grow and you guys will end up purchasing it from Amazon anyway so why not buy it from my link and support me the very first thing that I want to tell you guys about gaining weight is I feel like a lot of it is genetic the weight that you gain may go to different places for different people for me myself whenever I gain weight I definitely look like an hourglass it all goes to my butt my thighs my face it very rarely goes to my stomach I didn't really see myself gaining weight in my stomach until I got to 145 but by the time I got to 160 y'all I had back rolls so I did not really see a drastic change in my midsection until I hit 145, but that might be different for you. So please pay attention to your genetics and how things are working out for you because I don't want you guys to gain a whole bunch of weight and you're unsatisfied with where the weight goes. So please be mindful that the weight may not go to the place that you want it to go to or it may not be the same experience as I had. The next tip that I have for you guys which is so simple is to simply eat more calories. When you're eating more calories you're eating in a caloric surplus instead of a caloric deficit. So if you're normally eating 1200 calories a day shoot for 2000 and for me this was really really easy because I like to eat junk food I like to eat a lot of snacks even though I'm typically a healthy person if I have weight gain on my mind I will eat anything that I want to eat so basically that means if you're going to chick-fil-a get a milkshake with your meal because that's gonna help you gain that weight if you want dessert pick out get dessert get whatever you want eat a lot of breads eat a lot of starches and especially a lot of protein those are things that are gonna help you to gain weight if you're not eating enough calories you're not really gonna see much of an improvement you have to be eating like a sumo wrestler a football player like you really need to pack on the calories Carson you really need to pack on the calories to see the weight gain that you want 
The next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is protein shakes. When I started my weight gain journey at 15, protein shakes was the very first thing that I tried because I felt like it was the safest thing for me to be doing. I'm only 15, still going through puberty, so I started by drinking the Ensure Max Protein Shakes. Those have 15 grams of protein, and yes, a lot of people use them as a meal replacement shake, but I use them as a meal additive. I don't know if that's even a word, but basically I was still eating my three meals a day, eating and snacking as much as I wanted to, and drinking a protein shake on top of that. That is what helps me get from 120 to 135. The protein shakes is what got me through that barrier of not being able to gain weight like I just couldn't gain weight for anything no matter how many calories I ate honestly but the protein shakes is what helped me put on that extra weight I drank protein shakes consistently for three to four months and once I got to the weight that I wanted I stopped drinking them and the weight did not disappear I was able to maintain that weight until my senior year of high school during my senior year of high school, that is when I got a little curvier. I got more hips, I got more butt, so I did gain a little bit of weight naturally through puberty, but I also got on birth control. When I say birth control, I mean more specifically the Devo shot. I was on birth control pills for about two years and those did not affect my weight at all but as you guys know with the birth control pills you have to take it every day at the same time and that can just be really difficult and I just got tired of doing that it just became a hassle so I decided I wanted to switch to the Depo Provera shot. When I heard about the Depo shot honestly the thing that sold me was you're not supposed to have your period for three months. My period is excruciating it's hell for me every single month so to hear that I won't have a period for three months it, it's like sign me up like I'll, I'll do it sign me up of course I did other research on the shot you know everybody has different effects the doctor told me to expect weight gain depression is another symptom on the shot what's another one you might have spotting and it was actually the worst six months of my life I got two of the shots and only two the whole time I basically bled to death I'm not even being dramatic like I had my period for months at a time it was so bad the worst experience of my life I I hated Depo, but the one good thing that happened to me on Depo was I gained so much weight. Like, in my opinion, this is when I got my, my big girl body. This is when I really just look like a grown woman. I put on so much weight on Depo. I went from probably 145 to 168. I did not realize how big I was getting on the shot. You know, so many people would tell me like, ooh, you look thick, you look this, you look that, you know? It's just kind of like, thank you, thank you. Like, I wasn't weighing myself or anything, but I went to get a tattoo on my spine, and when the tattoo artist took a picture of it, it was done, I saw I had back holes. And that might sound very dramatic, but just put yourself in my shoes. I was 120 for the majority of my life, a size zero. So for me to have back rolls was very scary, and I vowed to work out every single day ever since then. And when I weighed myself after maybe a month of working out, it said 168, and I, I really just couldn't believe it. I was in college during this time, so a scale wasn't really that easy to come by, but I was 168 and that was just unbelievable to me that I had gotten that big. I was 168, probably wearing a size 10 or 12 at this point. Like, Depo really made me blow up. So I noticed that my hips and thighs had gotten a lot bigger. I also started to gain weight in my stomach, my sides, I had love handles, my back was a little bit fatter, my face was so round. I had just filled out pretty much and I hated it so after that I started working out like crazy in the beginning of this year I went through a very bad depression where I was not eating I wasn't doing much of anything I just wanted to lay around I didn't want to get out of bed I didn't want to do anything for myself and because of corona I couldn't go to the gym and the gym had just become such an outlet for me I was so just 
upset about being in the house 24 7 that I just stayed in the bed I didn't work out I didn't eat I didn't do anything and I lost so much weight you guys I went all the way back down to 125 so due to my depression I ended up losing all of the weight that I worked so hard to gain since I was 15 and I was back down to 125 this was definitely very discouraging for me I noticed that my clothes weren't fitting the same you know you could tell when your hips just go away I'm just like what the heck like how am I the same size that I was when I was 15 all over again like I worked so hard for that weight and to lose over 30 pounds in a couple months is just so ridiculous and so crazy I just couldn't believe it but I knew that I had to do something to try and get this weight back on myself because I like to look thick I, I like the curves I like the butts but I was happy my stomach was flat finally my stomach was flat again and that made me happy but I lost my curves and I wasn't liking that so I finally decided to try a pediment I hear some people say a pediment a pediment I don't know, but I decided to try it. It's a really popular syrup to help you gain weight, and I plan on doing a whole separate video that will be posted after this one, talking more in depth about my experience with the syrup because it was crazy. It, it was crazy. So I'm going to go more into detail about my experience with a pediment in a separate video, but all you guys need to know is that stuff is the truth. That stuff works. I took it about a month ago. I only purchased one bottle and that lasted more or less for about a week. And they say that you'll gain anywhere between 10 to 20 pounds while you're on the syrup. And I did gain about 10 pounds. I went to the doctor yesterday and the scale said 137. I forgot to take a picture of the scale. Shame on me. But the scale said 137. That made me so happy because finally I'm, I'm back up to somewhere I'm doing something good the syrup worked so currently I am up to 137 pounds thanks to a pediment and protein shakes right now I am drinking the premier protein shakes they have protein shakes with 30 grams of protein in them now so those are the ones that I'm drinking and the flavors are so good y'all they have strawberries and cream peaches and cream bananas and cream cookies and cream they have so many flavors and they're so good you can drink it by itself drink it in a smoothie and those things really help me to to thicken up a little bit you know in addition to all of those things the most important thing that I think is working out I have really fallen in love with working out because you can see the changes in your body it's so it's just so much fun, you know, to see the changes. I just love it. So my goal weight is anywhere between 145 and 150. So I only have 10 to 15 more pounds to go. And I'm going to reach that weight by working out. When I say working out, I don't really mean cardio, like running on a treadmill or doing all those jumping jacks and stuff. Because cardio is what will make you lose weight. And a lot of times people are not too sure how to work out to gain weight so they just end up losing everything but no I don't do a lot of cardio I do a lot of HIIT and strength training if you guys don't know what HIIT is it is high interval intensity training and I love to do weight training anything that'll help me build my muscle because you want to be building muscle in order to see some positive changes in your body and since I have been strength training doing HIIT all those things I can see a drastic change in my glutes which is your butt my glutes my thighs my stomach all of that I'm just looking so much more toned now I can see positive improvements in my body and I will say 137 now looks a lot different than it did when I was 16 and not working out and I love 137 now like my stomach is so toned now you can see my abs coming through it's really giving IG model right now because I'm in the gym and I'm working hard. I'm also going to film my workout routine to get slim thick slash stay slim thick. So stay tuned for that. But it's so important that you are working out while you're trying to gain weight so that you'll be able to not only maintain your weight but make sure that you're gaining weight in all of the right places. You really don't need the gym to work out and get the dream body that you want. I miss the gym so much. I miss being able to use all the machines and have all the free weights there and all that. But 
things happen we have to be able to get our work done at home so some good ideas for you to work out at home to build your dream body jump rope jump rope is so good you guys and you burn more calories jumping rope than you do walking or running so that's a really good idea to jump rope and if you're not good at jumping rope jump rope in intervals you know I'm not gonna give all my tips away but jumping rope that's really good for your legs your butt you'll be dead the next day get you a resistance band I will link the one that I have in the description box that is just going to make it harder for you to do everything I don't know how else to explain it but you're gonna have to work a lot harder to do those squats with the resistance band or do those deadlifts with the resistance band and it's really gonna give you the results that you're looking for so jump ropes you need resistance bands, do you some squats, do you some lunges, do you some planks, do you some Russian twists, do all of that. Honestly, get on Pinterest if you're not sure where to start with your workouts or if you just want to learn more. There's so much to learn about working out and there's so much that goes into building muscle, what you should be eating, all of that. I could talk for days about workouts and a good workout plan. So if you need some good ideas or you just don't know where to start, go to Pinterest because they have so many good workouts that you can do right at home and they're free. I will be documenting more of my weight gain journey on my channel so the next video that you guys will see will be all about my experience on a pediment and then I will be posting my workout routine to maintain my hourglass figure so it's really going to be focusing on abs, your glutes your thighs maybe a little bit of arms I don't know I might throw that in there but really just trying to get you guys toned up and get that dream body because summer will be here before you know it it's September so you have a little under a year to get it together and you'll be bummed by next summer if you start working now so we're all gonna work together to get to the dream bodies that we want and I can't wait to go on this journey with you guys I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any more questions for me please feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I will answer them for you guys I think that's it I think that's all that I have to say and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!